The following is a true personal account by Julia Vickerman, the creator of a cartoon show called Twelve Forever. So there's a little carnival set up near Griffith Park right now, and apparently it's there every year. But I sure as shit didn't notice it until today. No one can stop me from going on questionably assembled rides that look like a final destination scene waiting to happen. Tony was hesitant to go on any of the rides because he values his life, or so he says. But once I had bought 10 tickets, who can really say no to a jarring bout on the Sizzler? Oh, but Tumblr, guess who was in line to go on the Sizzler with us? This beautiful, androgynous, long, black-haired, emo, 14-year-old boy, wearing tight black pants and a black t-shirt emblazoned with the name of some band that probably sucks and his lip-injected fake red-haired mother, who looked like a washed-up rock star. Uh, heaven. Adopt me. Occasionally, I get instantaneous infatuations with strangers that can only be described as overwhelming or annoying, depending on how patient you are with me. Tony was nice enough to follow this poor boy around the small carnival with me as I tried to sneak photos, none of which turned out well. Followed a boy trying to get photos, none of which turned out well. Followed a 14 boy around the carnival, trying to get some photos. Ooh, how do you feel about that? I knew that my heart would be forever in turmoil unless I at least tried to talk to him. Oh God. If only his mom hadn't been there. If only she wasn't there, we could scoop him up and take him out of there. He can live with me, and I would make him see that our love is not forbidden. E the light of heavenly inspiration shone down upon me, and I realized that we had two tickets left which leaves zero options as far as rides. The two tickets had to be disposed of, perhaps into the hands of an awkward, skinny-jeaned adolescent Hot Topic customer. I marched over to the rock star mom and her elven boy, sitting cross-legged on the grass eating a candied apple. I'd bent down to give her the tickets. I'm creepy, but I'm not that creepy. I'm not gonna just talk to her son while she's there. If only she wasn't there. If your mama wasn't here, the things that I'd do and the things that you'd hear from my lips as I whisper it in your ear through your long black dyed 14 year old black hair. I'm a creep, my name is Julia, and I want it deep, you know what I'd do to ya. If your mama wasn't here, if your mother wasn't here, and it's all okay because I'm a woman. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I spoke to the mom. We have two extra blah blah, where's your car so I can follow you home, blah blah. She was really nice and said I was so sweet and I watched my muse push his dyed black hair behind his ear, exposing epic eyebrows, apple still pressed to his lips. He says thank you and smiles. was the best day ever why am I so creepy hashtag awful hashtag what hashtag G P O Y Ew. so that was a post from Julia Vickerman's personal Tumblr account. And what I consider fairly interesting about that is that it was self 
uh, tagged as being what it was, you know, very transparent, very clear cut. And um, in case you're wondering maybe if it's like fiction, she's having a bit of fun. People are digging through some of her tweets, many of which she is deleting. Um, and we're starting to see a pattern here. I'll let you be the judge. I put my wig on a 14-year-old boy and carried him around the dance floor for most of last night. It was a beautiful wedding. If I manage to kidnap Willow Smith and keep her hidden under my bed for a month, will I become her legal guardian? Is that how law works? I think you know it isn't. Went to early screening of Scott Pilgrim last night. The place was filthy with young, skinny, nerdy boys. Heart. Not to mention the movie was rad. Yeah, like that was, you know, okay, icing on the cake. The movie was good too. You know, nobody's forcing you to type and tweet and write shit like this. You making a choice out here to really just go in on the kid angle. But I'm sure that as soon as anybody raises issue, you're going to isolate only the worst of the harassment that you're enduring so that everybody can feel sympathy for you because you're the victim here. But if you say stupid things and you document stupid actions, I mean, you're going to get stupid reactions and you can't Pikachu face over it unless you're stupid, you know? So here's how the Internet's reacting to this, um, to no one's surprise. Julia Vickerman tagged her own post as Bing Bong. This isn't fandom or Twitter culture targeting artists or dogpiling or morality policing. She self-identified as something disgusting and should not make cartoons for children. In her defense, or I guess in defense of the show that a lot of people are really fond of, she uh, is just a creator, but now has nothing to do with it. As is elaborated upon in these tweets, Julia Vickerman should not be credited for 12 Forever. She was fired during early production due to inappropriate actions with co-workers and such. Damn, this bitch wow. Shady Petoski is the owner of 12 Forever. I will be adding links in this thread. Why? This other person says, Julia Vickerman? <sighs> The bitch who made the show actually got fired a while back for being inappropriate with staff members. For real? <laughs> oh man, I hope it wasn't the young voice actors. <sighs> That's not cool. You gotta, you gotta edit that out. The show's been run by someone else for a long time now, so at least she's not on it anymore. You know, well, here's hoping it's taken in a, in a good direction. You know, this chick was 25 years old at the time, following around and taking pictures of a young boy talking about, oh, if only your mom wasn't here, if only your mom wasn't here. What does it mean? What do you mean? What? Tell us more. Would you, would, would you tag in your own post with that for? This, this doesn't seem like a kind of joke, you know? Seems kind of weird. And then you're, you're fired for, for misconduct. You're being inappropriate with staff. So if the series of events dictated by Julia herself are in fact true, she is a disgusting creep. I, uh, she said it herself, who's following around a kid, trying to take pictures of this kid, remarking on what it would be like in a fantasy where the mother wasn't there, making jokes about following them home, uh, trying to get kids' numbers, deleted your Tumblr. And, you know, if you go to her her ex-Tumblr page, you'll get some spicy comedy if, uh, if you're just trying to lighten this, this gross situation. If you go to the Wikipedia for the cartoon show she created, the current creator is listed as Hatsune Miku. A lot of yucks out there if that's what you're in the mood for. But this in particular isn't really funny. It's just disgusting. And it's made doubly disgusting by the, uh, the social stigma that kind of allows women to get away with this kind of behavior in a capacity that men definitely could not. And I want you to just switch the genders if it were a man following around a 14 year old girl talking publicly about how, ooh, she just looks so good. And you know, if the mom wasn't there and oh, I'm just, I'm gonna have to follow that home. I'm trying to take pictures, you know? I couldn't get any good pictures though. You know what I'm talking about? Come on now, come on now, come on now. <laughs> How do you end these? <sighs> Subscribe to me and keep me abreast um, of all of the stuff that's going on in, um, ew, 
or don't. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to know.